ChatGPT gave us some code. .cfd. Seconds. So did did ChatGPT just freaking hallucinate this time k function? Good thing we have an actual human looking over everything that's happening here. I mean, sky's the limit. Hey everybody, how's it going? Been wanting to make this video for a while. Basically what I want to do is, I would like to answer the question, can I automate parts of my music production process using some code and using C sound, also with the help of ChatGPT? So I have uh, wanted to learn C sound for a very long time, for years actually. And uh, I mean, I've been a programmer now for about like, I'm gonna say 10 years. I started coding in 2014. So yeah, it's been, it's been 10 years now. I was doing music production way before that. I was doing music production from around 2005 2006 and i always was sort of intimidated i mean i wasn't a programmer then so i was always kind of intimidated by how you know you could make music using code like just to make it clear i don't want ai generated music that's not what i'm looking for uh, rather, I would like to take things that I would be doing anyways in my digital audio workstation, almost like templates and stuff that I would have in my DAW, but instead kind of put that together with code. And I like to like kind of show this process as well in case other people are interested in doing this as well. And uh, yeah, let, let's sort of see what we can do. So I think the first thing I want to do, I have this, I have like uh, three simple goals sort of written here. I would like to generate a sine wave playing middle C with C sound. Okay, so I have uh, warp terminal open here uh, on my Mac and I'm just gonna check to see I installed C sound using brew I'm gonna double check to see if it's uh, installed and running correctly so yeah I have C sound on um, version 618 I would like let's let's start asking ChatGPT. I would like to make a sine wave playing middle C with C sound and you give me some code that does that and also uh, plays it when I run the CSD file in the terminal. CSD is the um, ex file extension for a uh, file, so let's check out this code. All right, so we're going to actually make a file called tenor.csd. So we have it here uh, in this folder. Go here, paste it. Uh, okay, so what do we have here? We have a synthesizer with some options. Um, we're going to define the orchestra. So we have the sample rate, the control rate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Some of these comments sort of explain uh, what's going on. And we have this here, instrument one, which will generate a sine wave at middle C, which is 261.63 hertz. And I guess, so I'm learning the syntax along with you guys sort of watching this. I have maybe looked at 10 minutes worth of C sound code uh, in recent time. So I don't really understand uh, a lot of what's happening here, but I'm going to use, I'm going to be pairing with ChatGPT essentially um, to help me understand things. And it looks like the um, looks like the comment comments and annotations here are are sort of good enough. So here we're generating a sine wave. Um, it looks like we have the amplitude of five set from this argument, the frequency uh, like this, such as the middle C with phase zero. Okay, so there's no uh, offset here in the phase. So, okay, so this is where we define our instruments. This is where we define our uh, kind of options. And then this is the score right here. So scheduling the actual notes. P1 is our instrument, P2 is the start time. Parameter one, parameter two, parameter three. So we have instrument one. Is it really just I1? Is that the shorthand? All right, I1 started at zero and play for five seconds and then end of score. Cool, okay, so now to play it, save the code, cool. We have a terminal open. We're just gonna uh, run C sound sign of that CSD. Let's try it out. Okay, awesome. So we got a sound wave. That was pretty fast. ChatGPT gave us some code. We were able to save it at, at a, in a .csd file, and we were pretty easily able to just run it off the terminal here, just with C sound sound wave that CSD. We got that. So now, what if I want to play? If I like my dev notes, so that's cool. We can say this is done. What if I want to play a C major, or sorry, C minor, C minor seventh chord, C sound? Can you update this code to do that? Sweet. If this the good. So what's the main difference here? Different oscillators for that. You know, actually, what I'm gonna do? 
to get in it here. Right. Hit ignore. The sine wave.csd is kind of like the hello world initial commit. Cool. So the reason I turn this into a git repo is because I want to look at the diffs here as well. It's this new code. I can actually save it. And then I have this toggle diff. So you can see, okay, this is what we had before. We had this A1. We, we just had this uh, individual ampl amplitude, I guess, with the output. But here now what we're doing is we've got four uh, different amplitudes and we are mixing all of them together uh, to get this. So if I toggle that, let's, uh, let's play it, try it out. I'm actually going to rename this file instead of sine wave CSD. I'm going to call it sandbox.csd. Let's uh, let's actually play the sound and check it out. So sandbox.csd. That's awesome. I'm just gonna do some small modifications here. Offset. So it's actually pretty cool. It tells us here all of these oscillators, um, the the different frequencies. You know how it's sort of all mixed together. Actually, what I want to do is sorry. I'll just type it up. I would like to humanize the chord a bit. Can you slightly offset the start times for each note to make it sound like it was played on a keyboard by a human? Well, okay, so we've got um, each note is slightly different now. Uh, time K, A2, A3, A4. I want it to sound more humanized now. Oh, what's, ha what's happening here? All right, ChatGPT, let's do some debugging. Syntax error, unexpected T op code token time. I get this error. So did Ch did ChatGPT just freaking hallucinate this time K function? Good thing we have an actual human looking over everything that's happening here. Like, come on. I just want a simple humanization, you know? I don't want... Oh, what the hell? Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, so this is what I'm learning about C sound is that you can actually just set a single amplitude uh, for when this instrument plays. And then when in the score, when you call that instrument, you can actually just say, you can set the um, frequency that you're interested in. You're passing it in as the fourth parameter here, which is great because then we can just pass it into this uh, oscillator however you want. And that also lets us, as you can see, the um, the the, the left. Here, I'll zoom in a bit. The start time for all of these is offset just by a little bit. You know, fifty milliseconds. I mean, this is still pretty robotic. This this, this is a uh, yeah, not as humanized as we'd like, uh, but still, this is a good start. Well, let's just see if it even works. C sounds and box .csd. Sick. I'm gonna say that we finished second goal. Okay, so um. I paused the recording and I just spent a bunch of time uh, researching on actually using C sound to boot up a VST and send MIDI through a VST and record. I mean, it's all possible. It's just very complex. I'd like to keep this simple. Something that's simpler and, and cool that we could do is I swapped my, I had <laughs> number three here. Uh, my original goal was to use, uh, to kind of boot up a VST instrument. Uh, but instead, uh, I would just like to use C-Sound as a sampler. Let's see if we can do that. So let, let's just get like a piano, like a middle C piano sound. What it sounds, piano. So. I'm going to call it piano.wave. Cool. So hi, I have this piano.wave sample. And then what I want to do is I want to use C-Sound as a sampler to play uh, this. In my current directory i have a file called piano.wave this file is a single note middle c played on piano i would like to use as a sampler and play my chord using this sample how can i do that all right let's see if this works i paste it in here you can see a lot of stuff has changed Bass frequency, the note frequency, desired note. Ratio for pitch shifting, interesting. You have the left and right, just into this piano.wave, and then they want to play this. Uh, let's see, I mean, this is how things start, right? This is how you get the ball rolling. So let's try C sound. Oh, okay. That's awesome, it freaking worked. I think it did start looping it because it's like five seconds long. Yeah, so that's the four second sample. So let's actually just say uh, three. This is so cool. I've wanted to do this for such a long time. I'm glad I finally did it. Okay, let me um, put this two seconds. 
Let's just keep the ball rolling. Can you apply some reverb to this uh, as well? Uh, it looks like there's a reverb. Reverb SC is what they're going to use. Okay, well, I don't, need, I don't need to know how to use the reverb in detail. Let's copy this. Let's go back. Bam. Okay. So what do we have here? We have uh, the bass frequency. Again, it's very simple. We have this ratio, which is to help us with the pitch shifting. Um, we pass this note frequency as a parameter. So this is what, the, when we're actually in our score, you know, the frequency that gets passed in, then the ratio gets calculated for this instrument. So when this instrument runs, it kind of goes here top down, uh, plays this sample with that ratio, and then we're going to apply this reverb uh, effect over here using this reverb SE. Hopefully this works. It also has the outputs here when you mix the wet and dry signals together. Um, Let's try it out again. I have doubt. I always have doubt because I think sometimes ChatGPT just hallucinates some stuff. Uh, but if this works, this is sick. Let's try it out. Oh, and it doesn't work. Missing end tag. All right. That's it. We freaking did it. We have taken. Okay, let's see. Change this back to just two seconds. So, what did we do already? Uh, this has been modified. You can generate a sine wave playing middle C. I guess that's done. You could do it with some humanization. We can use it as a sampler. So we can just provide our own sample and essentially just use C sound instead of using a sine wave. We've actually just used the piano sound uh, that you saw. I just like exported out of Ableton. Uh, this is great. In terms of automating aspects of, of music production, this is awesome. Actually, this is exactly the type of thing I wanted. So ChatGPT is recommending Get this thing called rubber band and you use rubber band to time stretch the output that way file in this directory by n times okay thank you Thank you, Warp. I also have Warp, which is AI. If I don't know certain commands, I could just ask Warp uh, terminal, like ask in in just English. Anyways, it looked like it. It looked like Rubberman gave me an out a stretched output. So let's check that out. Yeah, I would say that's pretty good. Pretty good time stretch. What if I do it twenty times? Output stretched two. Let's see. Okay, and then what if with socks I took output stretch two and then output stretch reversed will do two dot wave. You can barely hear it. It's quiet. Okay, sick. Um, let me just drop that in Ableton, see what's up. 7 megs, cool. Drop that in, again a bit. I think it's pretty sick. I mean, sky's the limit, honestly, but I think that's a good place to end it on. So we did generate a sine wave with uh, middle C sound, middle C with C sound. Then we played a C minor seventh chord. Then we used C sound as a sampler. So I took just like a piano sound, a single piano note played, and then I pushed it through C sound. And then I used some command line tools like Fox and rubber band to do some additional processing on the in the terminal we got some cool sounds like i think that we you know this is just the start um i'll do another part uh for this video i think this will be an ongoing series i'm going to explore and experiment a lot 
this was a lot of cool stuff that I could I could kind of just come up with. You know, the end goal might be that I build uh, some kind of web interface that I can run locally. Uh, like I can run a web server locally on a Raspberry Pi or something, and I can just issue commands to that server and generate audio how I would like and then kind of just have it in put into a track of mine but anyways guys thanks for watching thanks for sticking around i know there's a lot of random stuff happening um i hope you were able to get some insight try this stuff out and have fun with it take care